Hi guys, I just got in from Sainsbury's and they're having a sale. My name's Vaughan and this is my channel, it's my happy place. I come on here to show my friends what I'm up to, to try and give them hints and tips and to get hints and tips from them. Um, it really is a, a two-way street. Um, if you like that kind of thing, please do give me a thumbs up, click subscribe and leave a comment. So I had to go and do some food shopping and I popped a Sainsbury's. I'm not going to bother showing you my food shopping. I, some people like it. I don't know. Um, you're going to have to let me know whether you think it's something you'd like to see from me more often. Or, you know, I've done the odd oldie one, etc. But um, I tend not to do my normal shopping. So you have to let me know. But anyway, <laughs> while I was in there, I discovered that they're having sales on a lot of things. Mostly homeware, the Habitat stuff. And I'm absolutely absolutely thrilled with some of the things that I got. I mean really thrilled. We can start off with this which will be going in the navy bedroom. You see I never stop. Um, it's a leopard head planter. I've looked at this loads of times and thought it was immensely cute but I wasn't crazy about the price. Um, and I'd sort of, in my head, I keep telling myself, I've finished the navy room, I've finished the navy room, the tropical kind of room. Um, but deep down, <laughs> whenever I see something that I just think will really, really go, I can't help myself. And you know that room has a lot of this sort of colour. And of course the navy. It's really lovely. It's some um, china or, you know, pottery of some description. The cutest leopard head. And is it leopard or tiger? I don't know. Um, and then a, a, a hole in the top for a plant. Um, let me see, does it say leopard or does it say, yes, it is a leopard. <laughs> I thought it was. This was half price. Uh, this was seven pounds. And I just think for seven pounds, I think he's amazing and great fun. And I know exactly where he's going to go. I'm gonna put an artificial uh, plant. I tend to use artificial ones in the bedrooms because I'm just not good enough about going around and um, watering them. I either end up over watering them and they sort of drown the poor little things or I forget them and when I find them they put sort of dried up dusty little sticks. So I just thought a nice little artificial plant, maybe one of those ones that look like um, look like an aloe vera type, you know, so, so you'll have like a little pom-pom head on him. I think he's lovely, although Nick said, what the hell is that? <laughs> We have such similar taste. <laughs> I also picked up some really lovely Habitat hand towels. Um, I have a downstairs cloakroom um, and I'm always looking for towels to sort of brighten that bit. And I've tried various ones. I've not got it right yet, I have to say. <laughs> I get them, I think, yeah, that's, that's quite nice. Yeah, that's good. I think the truth is the room needs a paint change, a colour change, and then things will settle down. But for the time being, I am not painting that area. So I saw these and thought they were lovely. They're um, a navy scallop, sort of almost like a shell, you know, like a shell. And then it's got a touch of pink along the top. I think they're really nice and the quality is there, their habitat, they're lovely. Now apparently these were five pounds um, and I got them for 3.75 each, which I think is a good price. They're lovely and fluffy, the quality's there, you know what I mean? You can tell with a towel, can't you? Because some of them are so thin. I mean, they're just so thin, whereas these are lovely. They're not overly fluffy. I think they'll be good hand, 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 hard working hand towels for that area. Obviously they had the Habitat towels in lots of different colours and lots of designs, but that was my preference. I picked up a couple of items of clothing, but literally only a couple. So I picked up a pair of navy linen baggy trousers for me. Uh, these were half price, so they were £15, so that would be, what, £7.50. I thought they were great. I've just recently, <laughs> just recently made a hole in a pair of mine. So these can go straight into rotation. They're not meant to be fancy for me. I suppose, I haven't tried them yet, but maybe they could be dressed up. I don't know, but that's not what was on my mind. What was on my mind was round the house, round the garden kind of thing. I've had a bit of a weekend of ruining things, funnily enough, or had a bit of a weekend. Um, over the weekend, I uh, bleached, top just spots you know when you 
bleached and I and it splashed back so I had a couple of spots of bleach um, I tore a pair of trousers <laughs> and one of my dresses the 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 seam that would be round the waist you know where they join the skirt under the it's parted company I'm just so rough and clumsy but then I'm not buying I must say the dress was um, a Matalan one so it's had a bit of a hard life and I mean they're not um oh they're not built to last let's put it that way and if you've got someone as clumsy as me who rolls around all over the floor playing with the kids being a monster it's hardly surprising so anyway I saw those for 750 the linen trousers and grab them only two other items of clothing one of them wasn't in the sale and it's this really simple t-shirt dress you know I love a t-shirt dress I'm not sure whether I'll get away with the stripes I'm kind of hoping that I will it's like it's a light color I don't wear white a lot so I saw this one and I really like the sort of the tie-dye it has pockets ladies it's got sleeves it is high necks I wish it wasn't high necked but it is high necked um, that's the only thing that lets it down but I thought you know what I've got to give it a go this was 18 pounds but I mean if it doesn't look great it will be going back but I can't see why it wouldn't I'm saying <laughs> I can't see why it wouldn't <laughs> there's loads of reasons why it wouldn't but yes um 18 pounds mad really buying a summer dress at this time of the year at full price but it hits so many of the things that I like and I've not seen one like it and I've not seen a white one. So <laughs> I gave in and got it. The other thing I picked up was actually for my daughter, for Jay. She is, my, my girl has never ever grown up. She's still a baby to me. She is Disney mad. And I don't know if you know, but Sainsbury's, uh, I think has to do them as well. There's lots of Disney stuff around at the minute. So this was half price, this t-shirt reduced to five pounds it says hello sunshine on it it's like um a soft cream it's got little turnips on the sleeves and it's got miss mini um i mean she, i don't really <laughs> i'm always buying things for her aren't i but i just yeah i liked it i thought she'd like it um it was five pounds you know sometimes you've just got to um yeah, you've just got to do that tiny weeny little splurge because you can't risk it, risk, resist it risk it <laughs> you can't resist it for the people you love can you right i picked up four of these i've only got two here again i've given two to jay when i lived in the city we get the occasional fly but it wasn't as bad as living in the countryside we have animals we have piles of manure we have all the things that flies love and somehow they always manage to make it into the kitchen and near your food and <laughs> when it gets really bad i'm embarrassed to say this when it gets really bad i make nick stand doing this over my plate <laughs> while i'm putting things back in the fridge or you know before i can actually deal with the, the food because you put it on the you know you you get it out of the oven you, you divvy it up onto the plates then you have to put things away and, and sort of before you can go and eat or I do anyway um, even if it's something as simple as getting yourself a glass of water you realize you haven't done a glass of water so these things are brilliant these I think these were Sainsbury's not Habitat um, food covers I like the, I mean I bought some as you know in Poundland the um, the ones that are like little umbrellas but these ones are permanent ones I actually picked up four and gave two to Jay <laughs> she gets as much as I do but I just couldn't resist these were do you know I don't know what they were originally that's really dopey I've forgotten it was on the shelf edge but in the sale they were down to one pound five p I mean, a pound and five p for these, I think, is amazing. I can't remember what it was on the shelf edge. I, you know, it has to be double that, if not more. I'd be, I was surprised to find them for that price. Let's put it that way. So, um, yeah, I now have two. She has two, and we can keep the flies off our food. I can't cope when flies get on my food. Oh, I really can't cope. And if I see a fly walking on my food nine times out of ten, I can't eat it. It just is so revolting um it's funny isn't it because i know in victorian times flies were considered quite sort of 
they did poems about them and all sorts. They just weren't bothered by them. But I suppose they didn't know about disease like we do and, and infections and oh. So, um, yeah, I get a bit antsy about that sort of thing. Only a few more bits. I picked up two. Oh, let's get the other one so I can show you. Two of the Habitat fitted sheets, single beds for the nature bedroom. Um, they're really lovely. They're a 200 thread count, which is it's not the highest, but it's a reasonable thread count. They, they feel really, really nice. These were again in the sale. They had them in this white. They had them in a green. They had them in a gray. I went with white. I find white bedding is the easiest for me to deal with. These were originally £11 and these were down to £7.25. So they were 11 down to £7.25 for a sheet. So I got two. So one on the bed, one in the wash, you know. Um, it feels weird buying single bedding. I haven't bought single bedding for a long, long time. But these are really nice and I don't, they have the pillowcases as well. I don't need to buy pillowcases. I have so many white pillowcases in my house. I don't know how we end up with so many pillowcases and not so many sheets. But two of those already. Nearly there, only two things to go. Look at this vase. Now I looked at this vase, the, the next two things I've been watching in Sainsbury's for a while. I didn't really have an excuse for it. I love it. I think it'll look amazing in this room in the conservatory, but I didn't really have an excuse for another vase. So I've been restraining myself best I can anyway. It was £12, it's a Habitat one. Um, they reduced it down to £9 and I have to say when I saw it on the shelf and I saw that it was £9 and it also sort of dawned on me that if I didn't get it I was, wasn't going to get it because it was now in the sale so they're discontinuing it. It just had to be bought. Um, I think it's beautiful. It's got this sort of copper banding and I, I have quite a bit of copper in this room, rose gold copper. But I love this. I don't know that it is enamel. It might be some sort of thing that's stuck on. I don't know, but it has the impression of an enamel vase. And um, yeah, uh, I couldn't help myself. I really couldn't. Look at that lovely colour. I just... It came home with me. Not in the sale. I did pick up some Crayolas for the kids. Um, there's lots of artwork going on. Oh, summer holidays. Pfft, summer holidays with three little kids. Oh, um, so there's lots and lots of colouring going on at the moment. There's lots and lots of rows about pens. Who's got what pen? Who's been chewing what pen? Because as you know, Lara li likes to eat them. So this was just the basic pack of 12. Um, it was reduced. I fancy it was reduced. Um, let me have a look on the receipt. Yeah, there was 75p off them. They were £3 instead of 3 75 But these are the ones we like because they're washable. You can get so many much, much cheaper, but they're not washable and it just ruins the clothes. So I picked those up. Then the last thing that I bought. Now, before I show you, I have been obsessed by this ever since they appeared in the shop. The day they appeared in the shop, I saw them at a distance and I scurried over I was getting one and then I saw the price and it is woo, one of these lampshades I love it it's so my uh, sitting room it is so my colors and just everything about it it reminds me an awful lot of some very very expensive wallpapers and so on this is the chateau collection you know the um that couple is angel and somebody who do escape to the chateau well this is her angel strawbridge this is her design it was 55 pounds and i looked at it and i said to myself in what world do i pay 55 pounds for one lampshade <sighs> not in this world i can't do it so i didn't buy it and i did notice that the shelves never seem to be empty i don't know whether it's done very well at all this range and it'll be because of the price point because it's gorgeous i mean look at all the things on here it is so me it's insane i love purples i love pinks i love greens it is just and i have a lamp with a plain white shade on that this will look amazing on because it's gone into the sale oh i was going to say by the way it's one of those where the, this bit you can have it either way so it can go on a lamp 
or it can hang from your ceiling, whichever way you want it. So it, it's one of those sort of um, multi-use type ones. <laughs> anyway, it was in the sale. It was half price. It was £27.50. You should have seen me. I was like a dog with two tails putting this in. I actually debated because there were two there and I actually thought for me, maybe I should get two. But no, I really only wanted one. I don't have matching lamps. All my lamps are slightly different, but they all have a sort of um, a natural theme and this sort of colourway and so on. So I made myself not get two just because they were bargain of the century. But I am so thrilled to have the one. Um, Unfortunately, the cushions weren't in the sale yet. Although, to be fair, I don't really need the cushions and I don't really want them. So maybe it's a good job for me that they weren't. Because I know myself, if they were half price, I'd be like, oh, I'm going to have to have a couple of those as well. <laughs> so that was it. That was my latest little Sainsbury's sort of, um, yeah, little, little haul. But it's a marvellous haul. A really, they're all things that I love. Sometimes I look at things after I've talked to you guys and I've shown you them on the camera and I look at them and I think, what was my head thinking when I bought that? I always make them work. Very occasionally I realise I completely have made a boo-boo for me and they go back. It's very rare, but that does happen sometimes. But this is one of those where everything actually has a home already and a purpose. So it's a really good feeling haul because it's not just me being silly, it's me being sensible, saving money, <laughs> and it's always important these days, saving money and making my home even nicer. I suppose the only rule, if I was being really honest, I suppose that's just a bit of silliness, but <laughs> it was seven pounds and I think he's great. So anyway, that was me. That was my latest Sainsbury's haul. Um, I'm going to put it up tonight because obviously I don't want you to miss out on the sale that's going on. I believe it's online as well with some of these things. So um, if there is something there that you have been lusting after, like I have, I mean, that lampshade, I can't tell you how many times I've picked it up and looked at it and gone, shall I? And then I've just gone, 55 pounds? No! And put it back. So there we go. That was it. I hope you're all well. I'm doing well today. We have been so, so busy here just lately. It's been more. Oh. Um, so I'm catching up and uh, getting back on the horse. So I'll see you really soon. Bye, guys.